Dungeon Master tip. It comes from Midgard Heroes Handbook. I love this idea, and I am going to be incorporating it into my games. Ley lines. Magic exists in countless forms, from barely detectable to massively obvious. Ley lines naturally bridge the gap between subtle but pervasive, uh, subtle but pervasive sources of magic and the concrete applied force that moves mountains. Did I say that right? Yes. Um, ley lines are actually channels where magical power flows like an invisible river winding across the landscape. They are called lines because the length is uh, their uh, only measurement uh, that has meaning in quote, this dimension. Scholars and sages... Uh, hotly debate the origin of ley lines, but their effects are undeniable. I love the idea of having specific places in the world where magic is more effective. Now, in our fanta- our best-selling, silver best-selling Fantastic Terrains, I have several um, terrains that are like this where when you cast a specific type of magic, it's more potent, either at the next level up or increase DCs, and to me, those are kind of like tiny little ley lines. I think it would be really, really cool to have these where you enter these areas and certain element, uh, elemental effects or illusions are just far more potent. Can you imagine you going into an, uh, an area and the player using an arcana check to distinguish that this is, oh man, this is a, a, a what is this, a, an illusionary ley line. And you cast minor illusion, and it has the same effect as major illusion. You know what I mean? Give it, give it that ups. I think this is really cool, and I think it would make for a great reason why major cities are in certain locations. I like this idea too. Similar concepts to what you said, but the fact that like, what if they just accidentally stumbled upon it? Like they're casting like the most obvious is fireball. I guess I hate that Kaboom. it's the most obvious, but you know, you're like I cast. Fireball. Obviously, it's going to make a big boom. Or he gets Firebolt and it comes out as Fireball. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's just like, oh. He looks at his finger. <gasps> Whoa, the damage I could do with this thing. Anyway. <laughs> Unlimited power. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, yeah, like, he just, just casts Fireball. And, you know, like you say, it's just like another, like, I don't know, like a spell slot up or something like that. But it did more damage. And the, the character just, or the player, it was just like, uh. That wasn't supposed to happen. But, like, it worked out. <laughs> I love it. In their it. favor, but what if the enemy also, consequently, the enemy did it. And it's just like, ah, and it's, <laughs> we blew up harder, I It's see. funny you, you say that, because in Fantastic Trains, that's one of the things, the point of that is to create Ooh. areas that the enemies and players fight over that, that, that five-foot or ten-foot area mm-hmm. because they know it grants more power. At the very least, i got to keep the enemy from doing it. I think one of the ones we did was... Uh, like an old necromancer sacrificial area where any necromancy magic used is doubled effect or increased effect. So you don't want the necromancer standing there. Um, so your goal is less about killing them as quickly as possible than getting them out of there before they all kill you. Hmm. So definitely check out Fantastic Terrain. You can find it at craigcademy.com. So. I remember Lee Fire here says, what if you came across the evocation heat-based ley line on the ocean floor, which allows torches and fires to burn without being extinguished? Oh, Again, that is awesome! A great way to like incorporate that, that right? That is fantastic. That is just like th- there's so many things you could do with this like ley line uh, concept. I agree. I think like uh, a good to touch on that. Once again, I mentioned locations of cities. What if uh, an entire city is in an area where uh, magic that's based around ice or water is super enhanced? So they're, they're they have a crystal tower. Alternatively, in like the middle of like a summer place. Eventually, uh, alternatively, like you could say, like there was a lightning based well, ley line and it just off. powers everything. They don't know where oh, the power is coming from. Cool. They just like say, like, thermal energy. Exactly. And stuff. It's just like oh. they, they just look at it and they're like, I don't know why it's working. There's no power source attached to it. And like some wizard comes in and is like, ah, it's ley lines. <laughs> it's always ley lines. <laughs> That's a really gold, <laughs> and good the, wizard. I and like then that. the scholar's like, no. It's not ley lines. They don't exist. You just have them bicker against each other. Oh, my God. (laughs) I love it. Oh, that's fantastic. You can do some really, really... Again, now you have role play that can be added to Not just a mechanical-based thing, but now there's role play that can be involved with it. Yeah, that also could be a good reason to explain why uh, rifts to other dimensions open up. Maybe there's bursts of energy where ley lines cross. 
and poof, you get these locations where demons flood out. Oh, I'm loving this the more I think about it. So, uh, do you have anything, uh, Ian? I know you're talking to everyone on chat. <laughs> yes, I'm talking about you in chat. And I didn't have anything that did, where he said. Did you say so. yes, you're talking, I'm talking about you in chat? <laughs> no, everyone, but that works too. Uh, a good, a good stamp. Oh, Handy says, uh, Eberron would be a good example of something built on a ley line. Yes. I would agree. Eberron there's would be magic a everywhere. Fantastic idea, yes. Fantastic. Use ley lines in Eberron. Is Eberron a city? Or it's a setting, right? It's, it's a, a setting. setting. It's yeah. a okay. plane of existence. Yeah, but a, I, get, I get what he's I saying. Think, yeah. mm. I think it is, too. Yeah. Anyways, I think that'll do it for our Dungeon Master tip, ley lines. Thank you so much, Cobalt Press. Hey, thank you so much for all your support and watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it. We are the hosts of the Crit Academy, a Dungeons & Dragons discussion podcast. Be sure to hit that uh, subscribe button. And be sure to ring that bell. Get our latest content as we toss it out there. And it's good stuff. Everyone loves fat loots and great D&D &D inspiration. Keep your blade sharp and spells prepared, heroes.